Welcome to the Lipitor Post Race Show as Kyle Busch proves there's no place like home. Thank you guys, I don't believe it. This is awesome. Yeah, yes. A big celebration. He went to get the checkered flag, bent over and kissed the start finish line, and now he's on the way to victory lane after arguably the biggest win of his career. Steve Burns. And Kyle Busch climbing out in front of the hometown. the belt you'll get the trophy what does it mean to win in las vegas nevada i tell you what this is uh this is pretty cool i didn't know exactly what it would mean uh but coming to the checker flag i mean there was knots in my stomach you know this is probably as as big as the daytona 500 i said it wasn't going to be but it is you know i want to thank m m's interstate batteries the fans marquee uh marquee jets toyota trd all the guys there nos energy drink uh, pedigree combos all the guys snickers everybody on this whole team i mean they're they're phenomenal what can i tell you this should have got one yesterday missed out on it apologize to the nationwide guys but uh this is sort of a little bit of redemption here today kyle you guys had to go to the back and fight your way forward talk about that struggle it was a little bit you know we just had to battle back and uh we didn't have the best car out there today but we had a car that we kept working on just kept making better kept making better so um I don't know where I get credited for winning this thing from, whether it's from the back or from the pole, but uh, either way, we, we conquered both of them, that's for sure. Thank you, Steve Addington, thank that guy. I mean, he's just uh, he's a leader in his team. Everybody believes in him. I believe in him. And as long as you have that, everything seems to run smooth. All right, buddy, paint the town red. Let's go to Nick Bergeron. Well, Clint Boyer has finished second with a car that was anything but fast off the trailer, but they worked on it, worked on it. You started in the back. No question, your team wanted to win, but is second okay given what you have been through? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, give credit where credit's due. Shane Wilson, that's where he shines. He studies this, uh, you know, pit strategy and things of these races really hard, and and uh, it paid off for us. But the Cheerios, Hamburger Helper Chevrolet, uh, that's that's what you got to do. You got to keep digging. We went a lap down. We got that back. We got run into on a restart. Got that repaired and uh, got back up there. Shane got us a good call and a good finish. Nice job, Matt. Dick finishing in his mirror was his teammate Jeff Burton. Describe not only your battle with Clint Boyer, but also the, the final run to the finish. Uh, we, you know, I don't know why, but we're really strong on old tires. We can't seem to go on new tires very well. And, you know, stayed out that one time and led a race for a long time. And uh, 48 came, but then we drove back away from him and um, came in, put on four tires, and went running to the back. I mean, I don't know. That's been our struggle, but uh, real proud of all the guys. The way we ran last week to come back this week and perform like that, uh, real proud of everybody. It's real easy to get down when things aren't going well, and my guys just never do that. They never give up on me, and, and uh, I'm real proud of them. RCR cars second and third. Krista? The double zero pays big on the roulette wheel, and it pays big today. Now, David Rudeman, I got to know, though, if that caution hadn't come out with 25 to go, you guys were playing the fuel mileage game. Would you have been the winner in this thing? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. We had a great air stream machine all day, ever since the time we unloaded it. And even though we had to, you know, we, you know, had to go to the back, and on top of all that, we had an old leak at the uh, earlier part of the race and, you know, ended up getting that fixed. And, uh, you know, it, it could have happened. <laughs> we could have run out. You know, Roddy Childers said, you know, we're close. I'm like, you know, well, how close? He said, we're really close. So, uh uh, you know, I, I tell you, thank the Lord it was, it was a blessing today to uh, to be able to drive that car. It, it drove great all day. You know, Rodney made a great call um, there at the end to take two tires and fuel, and and uh, we just kind of hung in there. We needed longer runs to get the Aaron Stream machine up front, and um, we didn't quite have that at the end, but I'm, uh, I'm awful happy with our finish. Absolutely. First career Cup Series, top five. Dick? Well, Bobby Labonte spent the winter looking for a ride, and here you are finishing fifth today. How big is this for you? Oh, it's really huge, and, uh, you know, can't say enough uh, for this Ask.com Ford Fusion. Uh, you know, we just had a great race car all day all weekend for that matter and uh you know we were uh, in really good shape there before that one caution came out i thought we could make it all the way but uh you know we were following kyle there and the car was handling great and just uh, you know hopefully just taking care of the tires 
um, you know, we got caught up a little bit there on a pit stop. You know, Jimmy came in a little bit late, and I, I, I lost probably lost a couple spots there leaving. But that, you know, that's just the way it is. And um, anyway, we uh, we rebounded the fifth there, and uh, I lost a few on the one restart. I thought I had a tire go down, just went straight to the wall, and uh, I might just uh, bump the the splitter a little bit. Uh, but all in all, I can't thank Todd Parrott and uh, all the folks at uh, Hall of Fame Racing uh, enough for giving me this opportunity and a good top five, good race car, solid, uh, solid day. A day of many surprises, Mike. A lot of them very happy surprises. This was one of them. Yes, it was. Here's another. Kurt Busch coming in to congratulate uh -huh. his little brother. And there's uh, Kyle's mom, Gay, in tears uh, there in victory lane in the background. There she is. Wow, what a day. Daryl, at the top of the day, you said Kyle Busch would have to be patient to get to the front and win this race. He was. He really was. He did a great job. But you know what I love about Las Vegas? It's fun. Coming here is fun. The atmosphere around this race and this event is like no other that we go to. A lot of fun, entertaining, and a great race. And I just I want to agree with Dick Bergman. A day of happy surprises when you look at David Rubin and Bobby Labonte. But how about Joy Logano, the rookie that has had a tough start to this season? He comes home with a top 15. David Gilliland as well in that 71 car. Good run for him. And Clint Boyer now up to second in the point standings as we head for Atlanta. Lots more coming up after the break. You're watching NASCAR on Fox. Back live in Las Vegas at Kyle Busch, the hometown winner. It was 2002 when he graduated a year early from Durango High School with honors to start a NASCAR career. But Jeff, you had to wait because NASCAR ruled that you had to be 18 or older before you could race. And at 23, he's now won nine of the last 36 races he's been in as we check out the finishing order. Pretty phenomenal right there as you take a look again at the finishing order of the day's race. But the key thing for him, he's just getting started. I mean, they may have made him wait. But he's making them pay for it. And Steve Addington, his crew chief, who said yesterday, you know, with Drew Blickenstur for the crew chief format, Ken says, hey, congrats. We're happy for you. Give somebody else a chance. It's our turn. And certainly the win for Kyle Busch. A shakeup in points as Jeff Gordon is now your leader because Matt Kenseth going for history was finished seven laps into the race. We saw in the end Carl Edwards with another engine uh, knocking him 17th in the finishing order. But he stays in the top 10 at nine. So now we go to Atlanta and a marquee win for and he doesn't need his marquee jet Kyle Bush because nope. he, he could just drive home but he'll need it when he flies to Atlanta where he won last year first win for uh, Toyota. Well he's a lot like everybody else here trying to get these multiple wins if he can. So what better place to go back to for him than Atlanta next week again another fast racetrack very similar to the same one we got here in Las Vegas a place he likes faster the racetrack loose to the racetrack this guy here he can drive any place and he will definitely be one of the guys he will have to beat next week so three races in and atlanta will be the fourth before we take a little bit of a break here as we hope you're with us at 1 30 eastern time on the pre-race show it's one of the faster tracks of the cobalt tools of 500 from atlanta motor speedway and tonight on fox stick around except on the west coast the simpsons king of the hill and american dad speaking of american dad our researcher patrick perrin we thank him for helping us he's the, he's kind of the ned flanders of uh, our show and ben Altop, <laughs> the uh, the matron oh we want to wish to nelson crozier a happy birthday that's right our production crew fran morrison part of the fox family him and his new, wife new Kristen. Dad. yeah a new addition to the family so for jeff hammond chris myers and in the words of kyle bush's crew chief uh, jeff dickerson as kyle zoomed to the front and hung on to lead as he took the lead his spotter said Say good night, baby. Promotional considerations provided by Thank you guys, I don't believe it, man.